Hello, friends. Today we will study the principles of electrolysis. In previous lecture, we have discussed conductors and insulators. We have discussed some basics of electrochemistry in previous lesson, lesson one. It was your homework. Let's discuss what is a conductor of electricity. Conductors. What is a conductor of electricity? I hope you have done the answer of this question. Uh, the answer is conductors are substances. Conductors are materials or substances that allow that allow electricity to pass through it. That allow electricity. to pass or to flow through it, flow through it. And the next question was, draw a circuit to show how you would test whether mercury conducts. So the circuit would be like this. It is a battery. It is positive terminal. This one would be negative terminal, right? Electrons coming out from negative terminal of the battery, then moves like this, right? And this one is mercury. Mercury is a metal, okay? It is a liquid metal. So we should keep this in beaker, right? So the circuit would be like this and it would conduct the electricity, right? Mercury conducts because it is a metal. Mercury is a metal. So, it is a good conductor. It is a good conductor. And it should be kept in beaker because it's a liquid. It is the only, it is one, it is one of the liquid metal. Now, the next question is explain why metals are able to conduct electricity. Metals are able to conduct electricity because they have delocalized electrons. They have delocalized electrons right so they are able to conduct electricity because of the presence of delocalized electrons or free electrons metals are able to conduct electricity now the next question is naphthalene is a molecular substance do you think it will conduct electricity when molten explain naphthalene is a molecular molecular means it is made of covalent bond right and for conduction right for conduction it should be and it should be decomposed into its ion and over in and we cannot conduct electricity in uh, in substances those are made of covalent right and naphthalene is an insulator right one more thing naphthalene sublimes Right, sublimation occurs in naphthalene. Sublimation means, sublimation means naphthalene directly converted into gas without, without any intermediate space or liquid. Right, so there would be no liquid states in mercury. Right, no liquid states, sorry, no liquid states in naphthalene. So it will not conduct electricity. Right, because we cannot convert it into liquid state. Right, it because it would directly convert into gaseous state, so it would not conduct electricity uh, because it is an insulator. Right, one more thing, it is made from covalent bond. Next is what is an electrolyte? Right, electrolytes are substances; those can dissociate into its ion when passing through the electricity when electricity passed into the substance and substance is decomposed into its ion known as electrolyte its example is all ionic compounds are ionic compounds are good electrolytes right but they should be in molten or aqueous state aqueous state let's start Next topic, principles of electrolysis. 
What is electrolysis? Electrolysis is breaking down by electricity. When any substance can break down by electricity, electricity, the process is known as electrolysis. So it is a process of breaking down by electricity. Okay. So to break down any substance by electricity, we should have some electrolytes. So breakdown of electrolytes happens in electrolysis by the help of electrodes. So any liquid that contains ions will conduct electricity, right? For the conduction of electricity, there should be some ions and in any liquid. It should be in liquid form. The electrolyte should be in liquid form. This is because ions are free to move, but at the same time, decomposition takes place. What happens? See, see, this is the setup of electrolysis. This, this, this beaker contains lead bromide. Right? It is a molten lead bromide. For decomposition, for breaking down into ions, the electrolyte should be in molten state or aqueous state. So there is a battery. This is the positive terminal of battery, and this one is the negative terminal of battery. Negative terminal is something from where electrons are coming out. Right after that, when we close the switch, it will move towards the cathode. Cathode is negative electron. It is cathode, and positive one is anode. Right. And they come inside the electrolyte. And what happens? These electrons are coming here in this electrode. Right. And here, as it is made of lead bromide, PBR2, what happens? It will decompose into PB2 plus and Br minus ions. And as the lead, right, it is lead with cation, right? So it will move towards it will move towards cathode, right? And bromide, that is a non-metal, will move towards anode. We will discuss this in detail in this lesson, right? These rods are electrode, it is anode, and this one is cathode. It is, these are graphite. These are graphite rods. Let's see in detail. Let's study the details of electrolysis of molten lead bromide. See, this is the diagram. Diagram on the right. It shows the apparatus. Right? These are the electrodes. This one is electrolyte. Always remember, electrolyte should be in aqueous or molten state. Because only in aqueous or in molten state, it should be converted into ions. So uh, graphite rods are electrodes. We have already discussed about this. The electrode attached to the positive terminal of the battery is also positive. It is anode. Negative electrode is cathode. Right? Molten lead bromide contains Pb2+, plus, Pb2+, plus, okay, and Br- minus ions. Hmm? See, why it is 2+, plus? because it needs to give electron. Lead is a metal. And metal needs to donate electrons. Metals makes cation and it is non-metal. It makes anion, right? After taking electron, it becomes bromide. And after giving electron, it becomes lead plus, lead 2 plus. This is the valency of lead. And this 1 minus 1 is the valency of bromine. After taking one electron, it becomes bromide. There is a difference between it is bromide. It is bromide. Br minus is bromide, right? And this is bromine molecule. So it's a difference. Don't get confused in this. It is bromine molecule, right? Okay. So the molten molten lead molten lead bromide contains Pb two plus and bromide ion. This shows what happens when the switch is after closing the switch. The circuit would be like this. Positive terminal, negative terminal. See electrons flow from the negative terminal of the battery to the cathode. Right, switch is closed here. Right, see, this is the liquid. Here, the ions move to the electrode of opposite charge. Right, positively charged ion will move towards the cathode, and negatively charged ion will move towards the anode. Right, see, this one, this one is cathode. Right, so here, Pb2 plus lead 2 plus ions accept electron from here. 
it is full of electrons it is cathode it is negatively charged so it is it has more electrons so lead would accept electrons from cathode and after after taking electrons it becomes lead right so it begins to appear below the cathode lead begins to appear below the cathode and here at the anode the br minus bromide ions give up electron because it is positive it has less number of electrons so what happens br minus will move towards here and it gives electron to the anode and it becomes br plus br right it becomes bromine molecule right so we can observe yellow uh, sorry red brown red brown gas because bro bromine gives red brown vapors right it gives red brown bromine vapors okay now now electron flow from the anode to the positive terminal of the battery so and electrons enter in the battery through positive terminal remember and electron comes out from the battery through negative terminal right so the result is that the lead bromide has decomposed and the equation for this pb br2 it is a liquid form because it is molten state it will converted into lead metal grayish white metal grayish white metal excuse me yes grayish grayish white metal of lead plus bromine gas bromine is a red brown gas it is a red brown gas red brown gas and it is a lead white grayish white grayish metal right it would be deposited at as it is cation right plus one is plus is cation so it would be deposited at cathode and it would deposit it at anode always remember how to remember Uh, electrodes which one is positive is anode and negative is cathode and plus is cation and minus is anion it is for charges right and it is for electrodes always remember it is for charges and it is for electrodes okay note that electrons carry the current through the wires and electrodes but the ions carry it through the liquid very important electrons carry the current through the wires but ions carry the current through the liquid in liquid in liquid in liquid currents is in the form of ions right ions carry the current but in electrodes electrons carry the current electrons carry the current right note so okay one more thing graphite electrodes are inert inert means non reactive they carry the current into the liquid but remains unchanged right they can carry the current into the liquid but remains unchanged electrodes made of platinum also inert so graphite is an inert electrode inert unreactive right electrode and platinum is also inert electrode okay. let's see the electrolysis of other molten compounds electrolysis of electrolysis of other molten compounds let's discuss see the pattern is same for all molten ionic compound of two elements electrolysis breaks the molten ionic compound down to its elements giving the metal at the cathode and the non metal at the anode metal would be deposited at cathode and non metal at the anode right metal is something with positively charged and non metal would be negative charged so metal is 
metal is having cation and non metal is having anion so metal would be deposited at cathode and non metal would be deposited at anode so it's a very important process we depend on it to obtain reactive metals such as lithium such as lithium sodium potassium magnesium aluminium okay so uh, we need electrolysis to get aluminum right the let's see the electrolysis of aqueous solution aqueous is something in which water is mixed right the solution that is made of water when we get any solution by mixing water is known as aqueous solution right so there should be hydrogen and oxygen in that particular solution water so electrolysis can also be carried out on solutions of ionic compounds in water when we make solution of ionic compound ionic compound into water solution suppose this is nacl plus h2 it would be like this so there so there may be the ions are the ions would be sodium chloride ion h plus ion and oh minus ion the scene would be like this but the result may be different than for the molten let's see if the electrolyte is molten sodium chloride electrolyte is something that is present inside the beaker the solution that is going to decompose with the help of electrodes is known as electrolyte electrolyte right so molten sodium chloride if it is molten sodium chloride molten is something when it is melted with the help of high temperature right so there is no water so the it means sodium would be at cathode right and chloride ion would be at anode so sodium would deposited at cathode and chloride ion would be deposited at anode right what happens when when the so, when the when it is a uh, concentrated solution of sodium chloride it means there must be water here and water would be decomposed into h plus and oh minus ion then what happens hydrogen would be deposited at cathode why why not sodium right why hydrogen would be deposited let's see the electro um, This is the reactivity series potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, lead, hydrogen. Then copper and mercury. Right, copper and uh, silver, not metal. Okay. See, so it means uh, here reactivity decreases from top to bottom. Hmm? Decreases hmm? from top to bottom. See, here sodium is more reactive. Right, sodium is more reactive than hydrogen right what we are observing sodium is more reactive than hydrogen okay. when sodium is more reactive than hydrogen it means sodium is going to convert it into sodium metal how because reactivity means reactivity means it is more reactive what does it mean sodium is more reactive it means it has ability to retain its ionic form it is more reactive more reactive means it will be interested in uh, surviving in its cation right see these are the these are the powerful kings with positively charged ions right and these are the less powerful kings those are sitting below this series 
okay so powerful king is not going to give its crown right so they will remain as as in their cation form i hope i hope i hope you are getting what i want to explain the they will they will never you lose their positively charged right they will never lose their positive charge see so they would instead of sodium hydrogen being less reactive is going to accumulate at the cathode look here so here the hydrogen would be deposited at cathode because hydrogen is less reactive than sodium because as i told you it the electrolyte is made of nacl plus h2 so the ion a so there may be sodium ion chloride ion h plus ion oh minus ion so which one is going to convert it into its you know uh, main which one is going to lose its ionic form and which one is going to convert it into gas or metal sodium is not going to convert into sodium metal sodium okay. this one is sodium ion okay it should be sodium metal right so here but here instead of sodium ion hydrogen is going to deposit it at cathode right okay so sodium is sodium would be converted into not na plus it would be sodium only it would be sodium only right. and here it would be chlorine gas right it would be not chloride it would be chlorine gas i would like to correct it it would be chlorine gas yes okay so here i hope you have i hope uh, i hope you have very much clear about the concept that how concentrated solution of sodium chloride is uh, when the when the electro when the electrolyte is concentrated solution of so sodium chloride there would be deposition of hydrogen at the cathode and deposition of chlorine at the end so why why the difference is because the water itself produces ion h plus and oh minus ion all the water is molecular it is made it is made of covalent bond right so but a tiny percent of the molecule is split up into ions right see some water molecules converted into h plus and oh minus we have already discussed this see see this is the reactivity series potassium see potassium sodium calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron lead this is hydrogen this is copper and zinc right so hydrogen prefer to lose its ion in comparison to sodium so sodium is more reactive more reactive means sodium likes to exist as sodium ion right let's see the rules for the electrolysis of a solution at the cathode either a metal or hydrogen forms right i hope we have explained this the more reactive an element the more it likes to exist as ions very important thing most important concept is the more reactive an element the more it likes to exist as ion that's why instead of uh, instead of sodium right hydrogen converted into hydrogen gas not sodium so if a metal is more reactive than hydrogen its ions stay in solution and hydrogen bubbles up i hope you have understood this but if the metal is less reactive than hydrogen the metal forms but if the metal is less reactive than hydrogen the metal forms right but if the metal is less reactive than hydrogen the metal forms which one is less reactive hmm? which one is less reactive is going to lose its ion first at the anode a non metal a non metal other than hydrogen forms 
If it is a concentrated solution of halide, halide means it is a compound made of chloride, bromide, or iodide ions. Halide means what is what are halides? Halides are compounds. Halides are compounds made of chloride ion, bromide ion, right? Iodide ion, right? You know the halogen. Chlorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, acetatine, so the halogen series, seventh group, they belong to seventh group. But if the halide solution is dilute, it means it has more water or there is no halide, oxygen forms, oxygen forms. In dilute solution of halide, in dilute solution of halide, oxygen forms. Let's see how. See, this is a table. Electrolyte, suppose the electrolyte is the concentrated solution of KBr. At the cathode, hydrogen forms because it is a solution. Okay, because it would be like this, KBr plus H2. So ions are potassium, bromide ion, H plus ion, OH minus ion. So instead of potassium, because potassium is more reactive than hydrogen, so hydrogen forms at cathode. Hydrogen would be deposited at cathode, hydrogen gas, right? And at the anode, we can get bromine, red brown vapors, gas at the anode in KBR. Okay. If the electrolyte is the concentrated solution of silver nitrate, AgNO3, okay. what we get at the cathode? Silver. Silver being positively charged hmm, will, would be deposited at cathode. It would be silver metal on cathode. On cathode. Okay. And, but at the anode, you get oxygen. At anode, you get oxygen. See, how, you, how do you get oxygen here? See, because it is a solution of silver nitrate. So there must be Ag plus ion, right? NO3 minus ion, H plus ion, and OH minus ion. So there would be the competition between, competition between OH minus and NO3. Right. Who wins? See, it should be, it should be like this. Let's see. It should be like this. This is the series. Chloride, bromide, iodide, and OH1. Right. So reactivity decreases decreases right so who wins the race right because these are the because nitrate in comparison to nitrate when we compare nitrate and hydroxide ion nitrate is more reactive more reactive than hydroxide ion and and we know very well that more reactive more reactive you know ion is not going to lose its charge easily. So instead of nitrate, hydroxide is going to lose its charge. What happens? As a result, oxygen forms at NO. Because here, O, o is going to deposit it at NO in the form of oxygen. And the reaction would be like this, 4OH minus 2H2O plus O2 plus four electron. So oxygen forms. Instead of nitrate, instead of nitrogen gas or nitrate, nitrate is not going to deposit here. Oxygen forms. Notice that in the last example, the water has been decomposed. This is the homework for you. Test yourself and we will discuss the answer of these questions in last. 
we will discuss the answer of these questions in next lesson hope you have got the concept bye bye